Greetings, my name is Dr. Peter Harrop of the Analysts ID TechX. I want to share with you today under the title 1000 Mile Electric Cars for Everyone, uh, some of the research from the new ID TechX report on the subject that you see before you. And the first thing to note is that there is a great deal of news about increases in range, need for more range, and so on. So the race is on, and we have to ask why. But before I move off of this page, I would like to give some initial caution about what is said and what is claimed. Uh, top left is a company that is claiming to already have a range of a thousand miles. It's not been independently verified or tested against a, an official test cycle, uh, but it is really a two-seater and it has only three wheels. You see comments about new batteries but that's the battery cells and a battery needs to make, be made into a pack or the structural part of a vehicle. And there's a long distance between what is happening in a laboratory and what is going to be in production proven and affordable. There are various claims from Chinese companies but I have to say that they tend to use the NEDC test cycle, uh, which exaggerates the range. It's not what you'll experience if you use the car. So lots of things happening in lots of different ways, but why on earth would you want longer range anyway? That comes to the next slide. Here we look at actual measurements of loss of range from different things that are the real world things that can happen to us. And this is very significant because if you get one loss of 20% from one reason and another loss of 20% from another, uh, they tend to multiply. You may then lose 44%. So these are very big figures and halving of range is perfectly possible under many scenarios. Uh, they include when the vehicle is very cold or when it's hot, uh, when the battery is old, uh, when it's been used a lot with many cycles. Uh, high speed driving and that can only you know that can mean 70 miles an hour nothing incredibly high speed uh, the measurements mentioned here that show 25 percent reduction in range from that and autonomy is not with us yet but when it comes it takes a lot of electricity and that uh, is going to be another hit if we use it if we're towing that is a major effect and there are measurements here and obviously we have seats in the vehicle because we're going to put people in it and when you do that reduces the range and so of course does carrying heavy things so it's not a complete list but it makes the point that you typically need about twice the range you think you need at first sight then on the plus side when we deal with range and increase it and there is a wonderful cornucopia of new technologies coming in to do just that we're going to cover those briefly in a moment uh, you actually can increase safety and you can increase convenience uh, there are many financial benefits and it is more environmental for many reasons and i leave you to read that at your leisure so simplified from the report, uh, there are various things that are being done to improve range. There are going to be major improvements in range in the next few years. Then some of the other things will take rather longer, uh, like solid state batteries and so on. Light weighting, an enormous amount of potential ahead of us. 
not so much with internal making of electricity from waste heat, although there are some things that are uh, promising. New components, big potential, things like advanced heat pumps and maybe using supercapacitors with the batteries, a uh, whole string of other things. Reduced drag, well, absolutely for most players, reducing the drag of the vehicle has big potential, but the people who are leaders in reducing drag already getting down towards point two, such as Tesla and Lucid, uh, and Lightyear and others uh, won't have a lot of potential ahead of them uh, because they've got there. Um, energy harvesting is a very immediate one in the form of solar bodywork. Uh, many uh, car makers are involved in that, Tesla, Hyundai and many others, and it's going to be the norm Simplification is the other one with tremendous potential. Simplification can be Tesla's announcement that with huge die castings, some including the battery in them, uh, save well over 300 parts. Another is in mold electronics where one part can replace 100 parts and it's completely different. They, they, you can do both. And in wheel motors save on uh, axles and differentials and cabling and many other things. So simplification, uh, you can have all of those things and more, and there is huge potential. So finally, in this brief presentation, a little more on that solar body work. We will eventually have solar that tracks the sun even while the vehicle is going along. We will eventually have solar uh, that is twice as efficient and there are other things coming such as extending solar to some extent even while the vehicle goes along but in the meantime the actual chemistries are coming from uh, the chemistries you have on satellites to ones on drones to coming down with the green ones with now the norm is single crystal silicon no one much would use polycrystalline silicon and there are on the right a few uh, subsets of that that are interesting, uh, such as perovskite on the single crystal silicon later, and copper indium gallium diselenide possibly with perovskite on that too. So a whole wealth of opportunity that is being pursued. So this is the report, which has obviously very great detail, including increasing of range by different types of battery cathodes and the new types of battery and a realistic view of when they're coming in because they do have difficulties and so on. So I hope that taster has given you some interest in what is going to happen. It is certainly true that manufacturers only offering short range vehicles, which we already know typically you only get about 30% of the money back when you sell them after three years, whereas you get 60% with a long range vehicle. Manufacturers only doing short range vehicles are rather like people who are making cars that don't have a sound system or air conditioning. Uh, you'll go, have to almost give them away. So long range is coming and watch what is being achieved. It is many, many types of technologies and very central to the future of electric vehicles and the prosperity of electric vehicle companies. And this is us. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>